Open a new file. Composition settings 1080 by 1080. Duration is 10 seconds. OK. Go to layer. New. Solid. Name it background. Select the background color. I will take a shade of blue. OK. Now take the text tool and write the name of the brand. I am making this poster for a non-existing headphone brand called Axes. Align the text. I will give it a black color. Go to Effects and Presets. Search Transform. Drag and drop it onto the text layer. Skew it. Change it from 0 to minus 15. Move the text on top by pressing the Shift key on the keyboard. Go 10 frames forward. Add a key to the anchor point. Come back to the first frame. Change position like this. Press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes. Select both and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Adjust the graph like this. This is how it looks. Close the properties. Duplicate this text layer by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Move it down by pressing the Shift key. Duplicate again by pressing Ctrl D. Move it downwards. Again duplicate the layer and place it downwards. Repeat it two more times. After it's done, we will offset these layers. We want these logo texts to come one by one on the screen. Move the second text to 5 seconds. Third to 10 seconds. Fourth to 15 seconds. Fifth to 20 seconds and 6 to 25 seconds. Good. Now select all the text layers. Go to layer and select pre-compose. Name it logo. OK. Take the text tool again. Write the slogan of the brand or the tagline. Adjust its size. Align the text. Let's increase the text size. Color it white. Right click on the layer and pre compose it. It'll name its slogan. OK. Go to Effects and Presets. Search Motion Tile. 
Drag and drop it on the slogan layer. Double click on the slogan layer. Here click on the icon called region of interest. Zoom it in. Select the text only. Composition and select crop comp to region of interest. Go back to the main composition. Align this layer. Select it. Increase the output height. Add a keyframe of the tile center. Go to the last frame. Increase the Y axis. Fine. Now go to 2 seconds. Add a keyframe to the output height. Come back to the first frame and make it zero. This slogan should show when the logo starts appearing. So drag it somewhere over here. Select logo layer. Press S for scale. Scale it up. Around 160. Now press T for opacity. Lower the opacity of this layer a little bit. This looks good. Let's import the product now. File. Import. Select it and import. Drag and drop it to the timeline. If you can't see the layer's handles, press shift Control h on your keyboard. Take the anchor point tool. Move its anchor to the bottom. Let's import the second product. File. Import. Select the product. OK. Drag and drop it to the timeline. Scale it down. Make both their sizes equal. Let's adjust its position a little bit. Take the anchor point tool. Move its anchor to the bottom. I will turn off the eye of the second product for now. Let's animate it. Press P for position. Press Shift R for rotation. Come to the twos. Add key on both position and rotation. Go near to one second. Move the product to the left side. Add a little bit of rotation to it. Select the keyframe. Press F9 to easy ease them. Let's see. I will add a little bit more rotation to it. This looks good to me. Go a few frames forward. Add a blank keyframe. A few frames forward. 
Now move the product to the right. Add rotation to the right side too. Let's see. I think it's a little faster. So select the K-frames and move it on the right a little bit. Good. Select all the K-frames. Press Ctrl-C on your keyboard to copy. And press Ctrl-V to copy the K-frames here. Turn on the eye and play the animation. We will paste the K-frames on the second product. When the blue headphones will leave the stage. Let's duplicate the slogan layer by pressing Ctrl-D on the keyboard. Drag and drop it on the top. Find slogan layer here. And duplicate it. Drag and drop it here by pressing Alt on your keyboard. Now, double click on the slogan too. Take a type tool. Select the text. Add white fill and remove stroke. Back to main composition. Let's zoom in and see the animation. Very nice. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Color Gradients. Drag and drop it on the background layer. I want the background color to change to brown when the second product comes. Change all these four colors to blue. Select this product and press U to see the K-frames. Let's add more room here. Select the background layer. Add K-frames to all four colors. Move it to the part where the brown headphones appear. Take the color picker and pick brown color on all four. Select the background layer and press U to see the keyframes. Select the keyframes and decrease the distance between them. And our animation is completed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and please subscribe.